Justin Fields? Should he stay in Chicago? Should the Bears move on from Fields to draft their future quarterback? The reason why I think Justin Fields should be the quarterback in Chicago next year and for the future, I believe he's a top 15 talent at the quarterback position. I really do. Look, I know you could say things about the way he passes the ball. I know you can say things about the the amount of time he holds the ball leading into sacks. Like, I get that for a young quarterback. I feel like those are all things that they kind of adapt to as, as they progress and get older. But I also feel like Justin Fields isn't the, the type of mold of a quarterback like a, a Matthew Stafford or like a gunslinging type of, of player. I kind of compare it a little bit more to, to the Lamar scenario, right? I don't think he's going to be a guy that's going to average, you know, 280 to 300 passing yards a game but that doesn't mean he can't you know facilitate an offense I honestly feel like we've seen you know a, a lot of that this year with, with DJ Moore again and it's no hate against Justin Fields right I think he's talented I just think where the Bears have a situation where they have the first overall pick and Caleb Williams has been on that Trevor Lawrence level of like this is who the first overall pick is since he's, like, been in college. Like, yeah. you've kind of known that that's the thing. I know that Trevor Lawrence hasn't been overly impressive, as is right, and that's coming from me, is, like, the Jags <laughs> not hugger over here. I just think when you have an opportunity where you're going to have to pay fields, you have an opportunity to say, well, Eberflutes has only been here for a year, and we think he's doing good things as coach. He can probably do very similar things with Justin Fields as his quarterback now versus – Caleb Williams coming in like I think you can kind of I feel like Caleb Williams and Justin Fields are a little bit more similar than people are understanding like they can both move the ball I think Caleb Caleb Williams is a better thrower Caleb Fields Caleb Fields yeah <laughs> literally so you have the opportunity to say you know what we're not gonna pay this guy 45 million dollars this year 50 million dollars this year I don't think he's a 50 million dollar guy but no I, I, we're not gonna pay him 45 million because I think he's in the 45 million if, if DJ's 40 yeah yeah I'd probably say it's similar to there, and I just think, like, you know, to a, to a testament of your part of the conversation, Justin Fields hasn't won. He has dealt with injury history. Mm -hmm. But what I will say, some things that are working in his favor, this year he produced the best wide receiver season in Chicago Bears history in decades. He did. And I feel like that's extremely important. The numbers he had targeting DJ Moore, eight touchdowns, zero interceptions, 74% of a completion percentage when targeting him. 1,100 yards, he had 139 passer rating, and that's all in 97 attempts. But you also got to look at that division. That's impressive, Tom. That is <laughs> it's absolutely impressive, but you have to look in that division as like, is this the team that can get it done against the Packers, who have now come alive again, Yeah. against the Lions, who are the best they've been in history, honestly. Yeah. So they have to now compete with this team, with the pieces that they have. The defense has played much better, I'll give you that. Fields played much better this year. DJ Moore is the best receiver they've had in a long time. Yeah. Komet's played pretty well, but is that enough to get past those two teams? I, I don't think it is right now. I feel that. And, and what I will say is, is I don't even, I feel like the Minnesota Vikings are very much like in that conversation too. Like they didn't have like that great of a year, but you talk about, you know, a healthy Kirk Cousins season and mm -hmm. things could have went, you know, extremely differently. But what I will say is at least on the defensive side of the ball, I think it's pretty damn close across all four teams. I feel like we know that the Packers probably have the most unison unit. I would say the Lions might have the most pop players on the defensive side of the ball. Best and, run defense, and, specifically, and, yeah. In a, in a Hutchinson. But I do feel like there's, you know, a testament to what the Bears really brought in this past year, you know, in a sweat. You know, bringing in, you know, Edwards at the linebacker position. So Jalen I, Johnson. Yeah, and, and, and I know that there's there's a lot that, you know, is going to happen on the back end throughout free agency this year. But I feel like what this also does for the Bears is, is this is a team and an organization that saw the benefits of trading the number one overall pick, right? And I just don't feel like it, as much as – Caleb Williams, all oh, the unanimous number one. I don't feel like that's proven enough. Like, we, we saw that with Bryce Young, and I feel like all the more that would make me want to stay with Justin Fields. Did we see it with Bryce Young, or did one test score throw us off <laughs> really bad? <laughs> did one test score throw us off really bad? When you look, when you can restart with Caleb Williams and you say, I'm not paying 45 to Justin Fields, because I think he's going to get 45. I think yeah. that's the number. Yeah. You're not going to pay him 45. 
you get Caleb Fields in on a rookie contract, and it's the number one overall like pick rookie contract. So I understand that it's not like it's a cheap deal necessarily, but it's cheaper than forty five. You have the ability to go say we have DJ Moore, but our number two can now be someone better than a Darnell Mooney or a Equinivia St. Brown or whoever the hell they're running at this point. They can go get a better old lineman in free agency. I will say they their O line improved over the past couple years with the draft. It did. It did, and Darnell Wright's gonna be really good for them, but they Kevin can Jenkins. add more pieces to that. Yeah. They can add more skill players with Caleb Williams, and then all of a sudden, now you have Caleb Williams starting his career with Eberflus, and he gets to continue it. Whereas Justin Fields, he had one year with Eberflus, but he's also had a million other coaches. And that's not a knock on Fields, it's just the Bears organization. They have an opportunity to start fresh with Caleb Williams. And if they do that and add more pieces, then I think they have the chance to take a shot at the Packers and the Lions. The last thing that I just want to really say here with all of this is the fact that having that turnover as a team, regardless of the position or a major position like the quarterback, the coaches, I feel like that doesn't make for a sound franchise. 100%. And I feel like if the Bears are trying to be that, I'm not saying that that – you, you can ha- I don't think that they would ever have Justin Fields and a number one overall pick come in and both be that way. I think if they drafted a quarterback one overall, that they would just kind of give him the keys. But I feel like there has to be something that you show to your Jalen Johnson-esque players mm-hmm. that, hey, like we're not in this business to just keep finding the best value for the future. We're here because we want to build a team. We want to establish a unit. And if we feel like the offensive-defensive unit can rally around Justin Fields, then we're here to help make this team better. If you do sign Fields, though, you may relinquish the ability to sign a Jalen Johnson down the road, a Jaquan Brisker. So it just gets tricky to extend DJ Moore. So it just gets tricky with the money situation as, like, where do they sit? Because you got to think they also have, what is it, the 10 pick or the 12 pick or they something? They have nine, one they and have, nine. So they have one and nine. So my my whole other thing, too, is is you could trade that one, ride out this year with Justin Fields again, still have him on his rookie contract. You make a move with the right team that's so hungry to go get Caleb Williams, you're in that same scenario again next year, three years in a row. New England. <laughs> but also, like, if I'm a, as a New England fan here, I would say, like, I'd be ecstatic with having Justin Fields. Yeah. Think, like, I would actually be ecstatic if you have Justin Fields. We keep the three pick. We got Marvin Harrison. Not I o- think that, like, looks awesome for us. Not only the Pats. I'm sure the Commanders would feel that way. Yep. I'm sure Atlanta would be stoked to have Justin Fields. Yep. Let us know what you guys think.